Hi, this is John CV again. This time I'll be teaching a short lecture on VOR navigation. The problem with most VOR navigation lessons is that they're overcomplicated. Actual VOR usage is actually very simple. My goal here is to prevent <laughs> my goal here is to present it very simply. There are three parts to radio navigation equipment: a station that broadcasts the signal, receiver equipment in the aircraft that receives it and interprets the signal and the instrument in the cockpit, the cockpit display. The only thing that we'll concern ourselves with here is the actual instrument and its usage. The first thing that we'll talk about are some VOR basics. Then we'll go into the instrument and the parts of the instrument. And finally, we'll talk about its actual usage. The first key to using VOR is to think in terms of radials. Radials are the signal that's broadcast out from the station and are oriented toward magnetic north. This is zero degrees from magnetic north and so it's the zero degree radial. This would be 90 degrees from magnetic north and is the zero nine or zero radial. 180 degrees from magnetic north is the 180 degree radial and 270 degrees from magnetic north is the 270 radial. All your VOR equipment will do is tell you where you are in relation to a particular radial. Let's look at the instrument now to see how it will do that. There are three parts to a basic VOR instrument. There's a small knob called the omni-bearing selector. We use the omni-bearing selector, or OBS, to select a radial. In the center is a small needle that points either left or right. The needle is called the course deviation indicator, or CDI. And the third part is a flag that either points up or down and is called the to from flag. Really, it's only these three parts that we need to navigate using VOR. Now let's look at an example of how we would use the VOR to navigate. The first thing that we would want to do is turn our OBS and select a radial. In our example, let's use the 0, 9, or 0 radial. The first thing that you need to do when using the VOR is to think in terms of that radial. Think in that direction. We don't know which way that our aircraft is actually facing, but to use the VOR, we need to imagine that we would face 0, 9, 0. If we were facing in that direction. A left CDI indication would mean that the radial would be to our left. If that's the case, then we would be somewhere on this side. Then we would look at our to from flag. A two indication would mean that if our aircraft was facing heading 0, 9, or 0, that would be taking us to the station. So our aircraft is somewhere on this side. Combining this information, we can see that our aircraft must be somewhere to the southwest of this VOR station. In this example, we're going to select the 240 radial. Let's give ourselves a right CDI indication and 
a 2 on the 2 from flag. Once again, we need to think in this direction. If our aircraft was facing 240, the radial would be to our right. That means that we would be somewhere on this side of this radial. And again, if we were facing 240, that would take us to the station. So we must be on this side of the station. Knowing this, combining this information, we can see that we must be somewhere generally to the southeast of this station. Now let's look at one more example. This time we'll use the 310 radial. But now our CDI is centered. This tells us that we are somewhere right along the line of the radial. If we have a from indication, that means that if our aircraft was facing 310, that would take us away from the station. So we must be on this side of the station, somewhere along the line of the radial. As you can see, it gives you a much more accurate position if you have the CDI centered. That's all you really need to know to navigate with VOR. Just remember to think first in the direction of the radial. If you're thinking in that direction, then the CDI tells you if the radial is to your left or to your right. The to from flag tells you if flying that radial would take you toward or away from the station. And that's basically all there is to it. There are some details that we didn't talk about. The two degree dots, differences in different VOR instruments, differences between VOR and HSI, tracking, bracketing, intercepting, triangulation. But those are all things for another lesson. Remember, the more you know, the safer you fly. Fly safely.